gon' chew me, cause the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. What's up, y'all? And welcome to the Blurb Mob, your hub for all things black and nerdy. I'm your host, Foop, joined by my two co-hosts, Ron and Antoine. And today, we are here to bring you guys, as of 2024, our top 10 anime. And I know you're probably wondering, why are we doing this? Where did this come from? This came from a comment on our We Finally Watched uh, full metal alchemist video trying to find the comments this is a comment from Dwayne jefferson 8497 he said really enjoy watching y'all gush over one of my favorite anime of all time listening to your thoughts made me want to watch it all over again sounds like fmab made it onto your top 10 anime list which is awesome where does it rank and what else is on your list so couldn't respond in the comments because it's a whole bunch of us, so we decided to make this video. So one, thank you, Dwayne, for giving us the idea for this video, and we're definitely about to answer your question. So we're going to start. Y'all yeah. want to know something really funny? What? After I saw his name pop up in our comments like two or three times, I was like, oh, that's my scene brother from Mad Drama, Dwayne. <laughs> mm. I don't even know your own people. He don't even know his own people. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, it's my brother. Like, we've always been cool, dog. But when I looked at his name, like the second or third time in the comments, I was like, oh, shoot. That's my scene brother from Mad Drum. You know, scene 44, shout out, we up in this moment. You know what I'm saying? I, we up here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> four. No, it's not a gang sign. All we do right. fours. That's crazy. <laughs> He's like, all right, put it up. I already got on red. <laughs> well, shout out to you, Dwayne, and you can handle Ryan on the back end yeah, after yeah. you finish watching this video. But, um, we're gonna the way we're gonna set this up. We're gonna start with our bottom five first. Everybody's gonna do their bottom five, and then we're gonna do our top five. And in between, we're gonna do discussions on why we play certain anime where they are, whether we agree, disagree, basically having the conversation. So, I I'll, I'll start, and then Ryan can go, and then Antoine can go, just so okay. we won't be sitting here pointing at each other like. Host first, okay. I'm gonna host, one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> but starting with my top ten, starting at number ten, I have to put Fire Force. Fire Force, because what appealed to me about Fire Force is that if I was to be in like any like world where I have powers, they have to be fire based. And with Fire Force, the whole thing being like fire based powers. And then the lore behind it where it's like certain generations of power and how it all came to be. I fuck with Fire Force. The reason it's not number 10 is that I need to rewatch. But when I was watching initially, season two felt a bit off to me. But I, I want to do a rewatch. And the new seasons are coming out in 2025. So I'm hoping everything, you know, kicks off from there. But I definitely fuck with Fire Force. And it was hilarious when I watched it in dub. So it's mm -hmm. definitely top 10 for me okay. number nine inuasha a oldie a classic but i like i like inuasha the dark tones the humor of it i like the the animation inuasha like um when i first started watching anime i was just binge watching all of it so it has a very special place in my heart so number nine inuasha number eight is naruto both sides. Okay. I like it, it was Naruto made me it pissed me off. It made me laugh. It made me cry. It's a classic. It was one of the early animes that I watched. So Naruto at number eight is going to piss the Shonen Bros off. <laughs> That's gonna piss them off. Ooh. You're being salacious right now. Mm. <laughs> it's it's mm. it's in the it's in my top ten. I just feel like I, I just feel like I understand for a lot of shonen bros that Naruto was like one of the initial animes that everybody was watching. I understand like the tsunami um era where it was just Naruto, but I didn't come in watching anime on tsunami. So 
around the time I was watching Naruto, I was watching other things and I get the sentiment and I get like the episodic watching it weekly and seeing how things played out, like the pain arc, the war arc, the whole Jiraiya situation. I get it a hundred percent. But the time that I was watching Naruto and the things that I was watching at the same time as Naruto, I was like, okay, I like this a little bit better. Like the way that story elements lined up character development and progression and things like that. So it's definitely on, it's definitely on my top 10, but I just feel like story element and like, character wise there are some other things that was like i like this a little bit better than naruto i'm not mad i listen i ain't finna spoil my list i'm not mad that but naruto's at the bottom i think that's a good place for it too based on what you've watched i think that's a good place and that and that's all i'm saying like different different what is it different strokes for different folks like different i came for different folks hey I, I came into the anime scene at a different time than a lot of people so Look, still, i get it there are some people I know who stepping into their anime bag and haven't watched Naruto. Yeah. So they top they, ten. Yeah. The, their top ten Naruto wouldn't even be on the list, given the everything that we have. List. So don't come for me. Don't come for me. <laughs> Number seven is Jujutsu Kaisen. Now the first season I wasn't there all the way, mm-hmm. but the second season. I like the power system is still confusing, but I love that they just don't give a fuck about none of their characters. The animation is great. The way that Shibuya and the hidden inventory going into Shibuya was nice. I'm very excited to see what they do. JJK Zero, the movie. I love the movie. Fire. The movie was fire. And I just, the way that everybody's been hyping up, like, I know there are some discrepancies about the. <clears throat> the ending as a whole but the way that everything in between progresses i'm excited to see it so it's definitely up there as far as like animation and my curiosity to see of where the story is going with all like the curses and everything that ties Mm -hmm. into that Mm -hmm. and then number six is demon slayer this was a bit hard for me, but it's gonna make sense when Demon we get. Demon Slayer's not in your but top it, five. It's, it's gonna make sense. Yeah. Listen, it's gonna make sense when I get to my top five. It's gonna mm-hmm. make sense when I get to my top five. Oh, okay, but this, yeah. this was this was hard for me. I really, <laughs> really, my my number five and number six can be interchangeable, but I have a reason. But Demon Slayer number six because the animations when I stepped into Demon Slayer, the animation was fire. Then I read the manga. The manga, I love the second, like, when we get towards the end, I've, we've been telling y'all the whole time, it's just gonna get crazy. The only reason that it's in number six is because I want to see how they do the ending. Yeah. Yeah. Like, every, like everything's been fine so far. Like, entertainment, art, the animation, mm-hmm. fire. Season three, I had, it was like, okay, this was all right. Season four, um... Same type of deal, but they ending on season four was like, okay, that was nice. I really want to see how they're going to end out with these last three movies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's definitely up there as far as animation, as way as like um, the creativity of how they animate, like the breathing styles and things like that. But there is definitely, once we get into my top five, there's definitely a reason why it's, it's number six. But I am waiting I think what would put Demon Slayer into my top five is how they end out these last three movies. Because if they ass out, that's going to piss me off. Mm-hmm. Anim- anime wise, anime wise, if they ass out on these last three movies on this ending for Demon Slayer, that's going to piss me off. <coughs> I just, for the fans, in the background, we ain't pre discussed this. Right. The, we're, we're all being introduced to each other's top tens. And, and I, I like- really thought. I really thought Demon Slayer was gonna be in our top five. I can see that, and I'm really, I'm really hoping don't nobody say nothing. And I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> that too. I went yeah. to look, look. Ooh, okay. There, there's a reason. I have reasons for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, got, you ain't gotta defend yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, ain't gotta get loud. you ain't gotta get loud with us. Okay, you class. okay? <laughs> Look, we ain't mad at you. <laughs> you mad? <laughs> Look, I like I like the controversy. We finna get some comments on this episode. Mm. Mm. Okay, I like your okay. bottom six though. Your bottom I'm not five. mad at that. Mm. Okay, I'm surprised Yasha was low too. I thought that was gonna be like top three. 
I just feel like I, I'm just my whole thing is that I came in the anime at a, a different time because because Inuyasha was also releasing like mm-hmm. weekly on like Toonami. Mm-hmm. What okay definitely definitely has a special place on my heart. But when we get to my top five, everything I, will <laughs> come I know, together. I know one of your favorites got to be number one or two. If it's not number one, I'm gonna be surprised. I but it's too. cool. <laughs> I, you, know, you, know I, I, you know what I'm talking about too, Antoine. Mm-hmm. Like I, yeah. <laughs> like how, much, how well do I know my friend? Like do we need to hang out more? Twice, twice a year ain't working no more. We need to see each other more. We need to see each other what's, more. What's happening? What's what's going on with you? Yeah. What's what's the, like? table, what's, the tables are shaking. Are being shaken. <laughs> All right, Ron. What's your what's your bottom five? I got to give a precursor to my top ten. For before all y'all anime fans out there attack me, my friends know me, but y'all y'all MFless. This is not based on what is objectively best. It's what fits my personal biases. My number ten is Sword Art Online. It made me feel good. I remember when episode one released on the same day as Attack on Titan on Toonami. Guy go gets stuck in a video game. He becomes OP. He's over here beating all these bosses, finding love and everything else. And as a little gamer no nerd who always wanted to make a video game. That just appealed to me. Yeah, they messed up the second half of season one. They messed up the second half of season two. Alicization was fired. Then they made these Sword Art Progressive movies that are really fire. And But nobody watches them except for diehard Sword Art fans. Sword Art is the f- isekai that created the trend to make what isekais are now. And mm-hmm. I love it. I know it got its flaws. I love it. I love the soundtrack. Asuna, that's a baddie. I love Sword Art. My number nine, Food Wars. Food Wars is funny. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So I know you wa- I know you watched it. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that because when you I, was watching, you really enjoyed it. Despite all the silliness and shit. I have all the manga right there. I've rewatched Food Wars like five times at this point. Three, four, five times at this point. And when I was making my top ten, I'm like, I can't just over here be like, which got the best story? No, which one of these animes did I sit down and enjoy for hours and hours on end? Fair. And F- Food Wars is up there. I've never watched a cooking show and enjoyed it, except till I watched Food Wars. It's a little perverted. A, Food made fun of me off screen when she watched Moggy. Man, listen, sometimes we want to see some boobs in our shows. I'm sorry. I'm going to be a little uh... manish in this episode. <laughs> I get it. I get it. But Food Wars is funny. The story is actually fire. The characters are interesting. I actually like Soma as an MC. I love it. I love Food Wars. Number eight. <clears throat> Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood jumped up there. Okay. okay. Objectively, for me to not be a fan of sci-fi, the story, the characters, the MCs we talked about in the review, make sure y'all go back and watch yeah. it. It jumped up in my top ten, and I feel like it deserved a place, and number eight was fitting for it. This is where it gets difficult. This was almost number <laughs> six. Number seven is Fire Force. Yeah. Fire Force got some of my favorite characters. Like Foop said, every time I watch a show, I relate to the fiery based characters. The story has its dark tone, dark tones. He bonus one of my favorite characters in all of anime. Shout out to the black anime girlies who be in these animes when we get some representation. She's top three for me. Eat like by default. Love Hibana. The main character is fire. The way they find different ways to utilize fire and electricity yeah. and plasma into those abilities is very creative. And the author made Soul Leader. I feel like one Soul Leader or Fire Force had to be up in my top ten, and I picked Fire Force. Now the lore, the lore behind Fire Force is fire. That's de- that's definitely what put it in my top ten. Even though I was a little bit shaky on that second season, mm-hmm. the lore itself behind Fire Force is fire. Exactly. No pun and intended. I read- no, okay. that was a good pun. That was a good pun. <laughs> it does. It is indeed fire, and I got spoiled by the manga. I read a little bit of the manga, and I'm like, I, the story is not going to disappoint me in the future. Joker is a fire character. Um, Benny Mar is a great fire. Is a yeah. fire character. They're all fire characters, but I like Fire Force. Number six, <laughs> and I'm gonna wonder if this gonna be in my in my best friend's top five is Fairy Tale. It was almost number seven. Fairy Tale is fun. I love Fairy Tale. I've rewatched it six times. It was the, one of the first few animes I recommended to Foot. I love everybody in Fairy Tale. One of the best female cast in all of Battle Shonen. It's fun. It gets my creativity going. I remember when I first mm-hmm. discovered it. I just had a good time, and every time I watch Fairy Tale, I don't care. 
Power friendship feels good. I like it. I enjoy Fairy it. Fairy tale makes power friendship feel good. It feels good. <laughs> it just feels good to watch fairy tale, bro. I love my dark stuff, but I like my bright stuff too. Y'all was, gonna see the dark stuff in my top five. I was definitely wondering where if fairy tale was gonna make it on your list because the thing about Ron like versus me, and then Antoine could probably relate. It's probably like Antoine and Ryan versus me. Like y'all watch way more anime than I have, so. Mm. I was like, I know they like these anime that I like, <laughs> but at the same time, they've watched more. So it's like, what are these other anime that they've watched that I haven't watched that might kick, like, might boot some of the ones that we have in common, like, out of their top 10? Mm-hmm. I, see, I, I think the other ones are good, but they don't, they're not great. They're not, they're not, well, and not I'm not even gonna say they're not great, but maybe they're just not top 10 grade like they're top like good material they're, yeah they're they're good watches like this, this is like i've watched the show i was like this is really good but it's just not like oh you finna bump your way up the top 10 or nothing like that mm-hmm. so. exactly like if we was making a tier list and it wasn't like which is the best anime objectively based on story and animation but what means a lot to you yeah i'm my s tier i'm my top 10 would be top 20 you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm picking off the anime that just really impacted me. Like, Fairy Tale, I just love Fairy Tale, bro. That's what I did for my list. One, I considered, like, animation, story elements, and things like that. But the also, for me, it was like, if I put these two anime side by side, which one am I watching first? Exactly. So the rewatch the one, value, all of that. Yeah. So really, some of my stuff is like, while we're considering animation, story elements, characters, it's also rewatch value. Mm-hmm. So which exactly. one, if, if I had to choose between the two, which one am I being like, yeah, I'm going to go watch this right quick before I click on that right quick. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's the funny thing. Full Metal Alchemist is the only anime in my top 10 list because we're going to get to the top five that I've not rewatched yet. Everything else I've rewatched three times, it was minimum. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Antoine, what you got? What you got for us? All right. So, you can shake the tables. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm, I might. We're going to see. Um, <laughs> okay, so starting with number 10, I had to put Fairy Tale. Number 10 for me. Okay. Fairy Tale's on your list too. Fairy Tale is on my list because I, I do enjoy Fairy Tale. And my bottom 10, my bottom five were kind of hard. It's like I can kind of pick and choose probably where I put stuff, honestly. Um, but I, I it had to have a place. I know that. There's another show on here that, that's not on my list that I wanted to have a place, but I just didn't know where to put it. And it probably could switch places with Fairy Tale, honestly. But we gonna I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna save it. Um, you think you know a guy? So <laughs> number <laughs> number nine, I got JJK. Okay, that's fair. Uh, number set number um eight, I got Full Metal, uh, Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, number seven, I got Black Clover, and okay. number six, I got Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter, Hunter, Hunter is not, number six. six? It is Wait, number six. This is correct. Okay, how okay. Did Gucci, how did that Gucci Lil Wayne meme go? <laughs> <laughs> it was number six for me. It was number six. Who's that number one? No. Eminem made the list. 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 Eminem yeah, so like really, I, unfortunately really it got setting, bumped down. <laughs> like really setting these anime side by side and really just considering like personal factors, facts, like it's like this was crazy. Yeah. This was I I will say that my bottom five, really my bottom six were like really hard to choose because my five yeah. and six my five and six are really interchangeable. Mm. But like that bottom half top i feel like top five easy like you could you could top five was easy for me based on like how i felt and everything but bottom half it's like okay where i'm really putting Mm y'all and that's the thing it's hard it's hard bro hard but hunter hunter number six yeah yeah 
Mm. When y'all hear number five, y'all probably y'all gonna be like, oh, oh. <laughs> you just say? Do you pronounce the X? Let's make the Shonen Bros mad. Do you pronounce the X in Hunter Hunter? Sometimes. Because I think I just said Hunter X Hunter, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. But it's, I pronounce it sometimes too. Mm-hmm. The thing about it, though, when I started watching it, nobody told me how to pronounce it. So you got this big, fat ass X right yeah. here. So I was like, okay, Hunter I the X. X. Because nobody and, told me know, either. <laughs> then I started getting into that, the anime community more and finding out, oh, we don't say the X. Hunter Hunter. Excuse Hunter, me. Hunter. Part, part, of me. <laughs> <laughs> part of my language. Part of my language. Excuse me. Hunter <laughs> Hunter. Put my, put my pinky out. Hunter Hunter. <laughs> look, 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 pink out when you drink your water. Look, it's, Hunter, Hunter. Hunter. it's Hunter Hunter. Excuse Hunter. me. Oh, do you pronounce the X? Uh-oh. Everybody, oh, you said the A. Oh. <laughs> You're not a real anime fan. Like, who cares? Who cares? Look, they yeah. never said they never said the name in the anime. So how am I supposed to? <laughs> at least, at least fairy tales say they shit. Fairy exactly. tales say they shit. Demon Slayer say they shit. Hell, you find out how to pronounce Naruto from the first episode. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Look. If folks still pronounce Naruto wrong, they'll be like, Naruto. I'm like, where you get Naruto? But the Tsunami dude used to say it. I can't get mad. It is what it yeah. is. It is what it is. Listen, how about we bond over the fact that we both like it? Not That's because it. you pronounce it one way. There we go. The other way. Let's, 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 let's go past the name. And let's just bond, bro. Let's bond. Come on, Natalie. Come on. <laughs> I'm, I would say, given that I haven't watched a lot of anime, I'm not mad at our bottom five. I'm surprised JJK wasn't two lists. Black Clover shocked me about you, Antoine. I like Black Clover, but I'm not going to spoil my top five. That was interesting. That was yeah, interesting. It's up there for me. I think my bottom ones, it's for me, it was like, I really like these anime, but I need for them to be bumped up to like, there, it's enough to where like, I fuck with the fandom and like, these were like, animes were like i bought merch for so mm. i was like i really i really when i start buying merch yeah mm-hmm. i fuck you got an you. attachment yeah but to get bumped up to like top five i need to see like how this plays out and mm. any watch is different though because any watch is done i i'd say that for four out of my bottom five because this don't include full metal i'll say it's like i love y'all but the reason y'all ain't top five is because y'all have strong flaws that even I recognize despite loving mm-hmm. y'all. Sword Art would have been my top top one if they just did not mess up the second half of season one, second half of season two, and kept with those trends. Mm-hmm. It would easily be my favorite anime of all time if it did, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So let's mm-hmm. move on to top to five. Nitty this nitty. where it get real, y'all. <laughs> this where do it I get know real. y'all? Do do we? This the question is: is not what's your anime top five? How well do I know my friends? How well do we know our friends? <laughs> how, how, well, mm-hmm. how well do we know each other? So here we go. Starting with my number five, it is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Okay. But Full Metal Alchemist and Demon Slayer could be interchanged for me, but the only reason I put Full Metal at five is because I feel like the story elements of Full Metal Alchemist are a bit more intricate than Demon Slayer. Full Metal jumped above Inuyasha for you, and Nar- what was Fairy Tale in your list? I haven't even said it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't said Fairy Tale yet. Okay. See now you're spoiling it because now I'm telling you. I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised it be Naruto and Inuyasha for you. It could be. It could be recency bias, but but it could be recency bias. But also, I slip on this list. I slip on it. And I really just thought about like the way how certain like story elements played out, character development. Because besides fairy tale, you made a good point about fairy tale about the female cast. Full Metal Alchemist also has a very good female it cast, does. And, we, and we talked about this on the review. And one of the things that I hate about Naruto is their female cast, booty mm-hmm. cheeks. Mm-hmm. So like, and and me, I <clears throat> I really like attach myself to the female characters and anime so if you can give me good story elements and, and we already talked about like the plot twist in full metal alchemist were insane and then they the were. female and then the female characters are just as equal just as good just as relevant as the male characters mm. you got it yeah. for me you got it 
And I'm not mm. saying that Demon Slayer doesn't have like strong female characters, but Demon Slayer's whole thing is like, I love Demon Slayer, but the plot is repetitive. Let's not it get is. it twisted, y'all. The plot is repetitive. Like there are no like gotcha moments in Demon Slayer. Mm. And if I put that side by side with Full Metal Alchemist, it's but they they could be they are interchangeable. interchangeable. Yeah. But the the one reason why Full Metal is in my top five is because of like the way that this story played out in Full. Mm-hmm. I feel like you got the most controversial list because folks are going to be like Full Metal is interchangeable with Demon Slayer. That booty cheek story. That she also anime did, is carried by the animation. She also, she also did mention that um, Demon Slayer hasn't finished yet, so she's kind of yeah. waiting for to see how they wrap it up. We've already seen Full Metal Alchemist uh, Brotherhood for ending, and they wrapped that up nicely with a bow. And mm-hmm. while I have, I do have faith that Demon Slayer is going to do it. Um, same, but we is, we never know. We, we never, never know. We never know. We never know. I am coming from the standpoint. Listen, you Shonen Bros who've been in the game 20, 15 years, y'all was watching that giant while you was eating cereal, getting mm-hmm. ready for school. My list is ramen. That orange bag of ramen, the chicken flavor. Listen, mm-hmm. my list is not for y'all. I'm gonna just be real. <laughs> My list is not for y'all. I'm just finna be real. My list is for the people who got into anime recently and we got we got thrown into the new generation stuff coming out and you know we watched some of the old stuff on the back end when we got mm-hmm. time. That's who my list is for. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Uh, number, number five. F- number four is fairy tale. Okay. Shout out to Ron. Shout out oh. to Ron. Like okay. he said, this was he put me on Fairy Tale. This was one of the first anime I watched, which is crazy because Fairy Tale has like three hundred plus episodes. But once that junk got rolling, we was rolling. Mm. Once Fairy Tale got rolling, we was rolling. And like I said earlier, Fairy Tale makes the power friendship feel real good. It does. It makes it feel real good. I still gotta give me a fairy tale tattoo, but fairy tale is always gonna be top five. However you feel about it, fairy tale is always gonna be top five for me. If I were to get a tattoo and it's an anime one, fairy tale is pretty much like one hundred percent one of the ones I'm getting if I was to ever get an anime tattoo. Like things that Ryan mentioned before, female cast, fire. I love like the way that they the different kinds of magic and fairy tale and everybody's not like just this one thing like everybody has their different stuff they go full out with everybody's stuff like even if like if it's a side character and you got this magic you got it like we gonna we gonna give you your magic mm-hmm. fairy tale is always gonna be top five for me number three hunter hunter okay. number three okay, okay. okay. number okay. three number no, three is it. number three is hunter hunter Okay. That was that was nice. I didn't know what to expect when I started watching Hunter Hunter. Like coming, like that was the second anime I watched. So coming off of Fairy Tale, hopping into Hunter Hunter, like that was a complete vibe. Real different, me. right? I, I, real. I, real. That was different. like real, <laughs> real, real switch different. Up. But mm-hmm. Ryan always talks about this all the time, and I have to agree. The power system is nice. Hunter Hunter has a really nice power system, and then just the way that the whole Hunter organization is set up, and the way. Phantom Troop, to me, is like in the top 10, top 5 anime group, villain groups. That, that that's not nice a hot group. take. That's good. That's not a hot take. That's a good, that's 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 legit. Yeah. That's legit. I think everybody Phantom, liked them, to, to be honest. Phantom Troop was nice. It wasn't like black and white good guys versus bad right. guys. Like, it was all morally gray. Um, And then... Um, just just the progression of the characters and how like everything went down. And even though I have I do have complaints about that Chimera and art being slow as snail grease. <laughs> but like when we like when it got towards the end, when stuff started picking up, it started picking up. I know which anime was going to be in your top two. I know one of them, but I want to see if it's your number <laughs> one. I gotta see uh, if it's, it's your number it's one. Be number one. If we thinking about the if it's thing. not, I if it's not, not though, <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, the two, <laughs> cut the camera off. Cut the camera off. Start over. <laughs> number two, 
is Sailor Moon. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, What's number one? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> What's number one? Y'all understand when we get there. Well, y'all understand when we get there. Y'all understand mm. when we get there. Y'all understand when we get there. I don't even know you. I understand. I understand the the shock factor. But it, yeah, but it is it is number two. Okay, okay. But if you don't already know, a bitch loves Sailor Moon. I mm. have two Sailor Moon tattoos. You can't see my arm for real, but it's over here. And fuckos in the back. I love Sailor Moon and the girls. I, I do. I think it's one that I haven't heard, so I think I know. I love Sailor Moon and the girls. If if you know, you know. Like it does start off like with Usagi crying, like for like the first couple episodes. But once we get in there, we in there. I love <clears> the lore. I love the lore about Sailor Moon, the Guardians, the Outer Guardians. When we go out to when we get to Sailor Stars and they talk about like all of the other mm -hmm. Sailor Guardians that exist in other like solar systems and stuff like that. Like that means something to me. Mm. What's number one? All right, y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready? Number one, hands down, is Attack on Titan. I already knew. I, well, I knew it after she said Sailor Moon. I was like, that's the one that I have not heard. Number that's one, <laughs> hands down, is Attack on Titan. And the thing that got me about Attack on Titan is that I did not want to watch it. I'm going to be real with y'all. I remember I did that. Not, yeah. I did not want to watch Attack mm -hmm. on Titan. Because why they look like that? That was my main question. I do remember we had to do some convincing to get you. My, yeah. my main question was like, yeah. why do they look like that? Why? Do, I was like, why the fuck do y'all want me to watch this? Like, I refused <laughs> to watch Attack on Titan because I was like, why do they look like that? Like that looks scary. Like when <laughs> Aaron used to run there, yeah. just run around. Well, yeah. I was like, why do y'all want me to watch that? Like, I refused to touch it. Now one night, I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch Attack on Titan. I'm going to see why they look like that. And the way that went, and we can complain all day about how they spaced out the last season, but overall, Attack on Titan is nice. We will never nice. get something like Attack on Titan ever again. That was nice. It was nice. The, politi the political intrigue, the plot twist, the way that the Titans even came to exist, the history behind it. Mm -hmm. Where it just didn't turn, where every se first season was like humans versus Titans, then it's humans versus humans, then it's Titans versus Titans, then it's Aaron versus everybody. Like, the way that this junk progressed, I no. was like, when it, when it ended, when it ended, I was like, I think I, I said this on my mom review, I was like, this is top five. I will not be taking any comments. Mm -hmm. this, yeah. this is top this is this is top five <coughs> wow wow think you know a girl wow. <laughs> I wow. love say I do love the girls they they number two Sailor, Sailor Moon number two it is it's always gonna that's always gonna be in top five too but I just feel like the way that attack on it was because I did not expect to be as intrigued or like engaged into Attack on Titan when mm -hmm. I started it. And like I said, I refused for a long time. I refused to watch Attack on Titan and for me to get into it and enjoy in the way that some of those plot elements went down, the plot twist, the when everything just got laid on flat on the table where you find out where Reiner and all of them coming from and how the Titans got there and how everything got split up. I was like, see. That was storytelling right there. That was storytelling. Mm -hmm. And for the fact that I didn't want to watch it in the first place, mm -hmm. yeah, you have earned you have earned your place. You have earned you have earned your place. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm I not mad. Would. I'm surprised, but I'm not mad. I ain't All right. Y'all thought Sailor Moon was gonna be my number one. I, I stopped that from the I beginning. Sailor Moon was number one. <laughs> I thought Sailor Moon was number one. Oh. Mm. Shout out to Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> to Attack on Titan. You beat them girls. I know that's right. <laughs> I listen. Listen. You for, for people who know you, your list is the most controversial in my opinion. I gotta hear Antoine's, but yours is very controversial. For someone who knows you. Hmm. I didn't mean to. <laughs> 
I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. <sighs> oh, I got to go next. Yep. Yeah, I, can, I don't think I can beat that. All right, number five. The only big three anime that's popping up on my list is Bleach. I'm sorry. That's fair. I love One Piece. I love, love, love One Piece. Nobody captures the concept of coolness as well as Bleach. Nobody mm-hmm. does it. In terms of transformations, nobody does it. Ichigo, one of my favorite Battle Shonen MCs. I think he's balanced. I think he's cool. I think um, Edward Ulrich catches up to him as well when it comes to their they have genuine um, motivations that I feel like are relatable. I feel like they're not just this overly i want to be okage i want to be king of this king of that fairy king mm-hmm. magic king whatever whatever i like that they just sound really grounded and they care about their people bleach's story got a good amount of foreshadowing people get mad at the story i don't care each goes every freaking race in the series and and luffy got a paramecia type devil fruit that became a that became a um mythic zone i don't care naruto pulled a qb out of his butt i don't care i don't care <laughs> i like bleach i like bleach <clears throat> number four magi the labyrinth of magic mm-hmm. i feel like in terms of story i read the manga in full i feel like it has some of the greatest um coolest characters i love sinbad i feel like the rook system in terms of how they do magic and everything else in magi is beautiful and well done and well executed i love the fact that it takes place in like the middle east when it comes to the theming the music the soundtrack everything's fire Belisha's soundtrack is amazing too and i just love magi it was going to be my top five. Number three is Death Note. Okay. Number three is Death Note. Death Note is a classic. I can, I rewatch Death Note damn near every year at this point. Every year I got to sit down and rewatch Death Note. When it comes to like Yagami versus Ale and their battle of wits, it's no fighting. It's a little bit of guns. But the way they carry those dark elements with the Shinigami in the background and how the MC still just gets off at the end. I love it. It's a battle of mentality and ethics, even though neither side is completely wrong. Neither side is completely right, and I appreciate that about Death Note. Hmm. Number two is Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation. The only reason it's not number one is because it's not over yet, and I don't know how this ending is going to go. I love it. I've rewatched Mushoku Tensei Season 1 like four times after Season 1 released. I rewatched it right after Season 1 fully aired. Same Hmm. for Season 2, same for Season 3. I love Mushoku Tensei. It has that one element that is a little freaky. That um, he is a little freak elite, and he's really nasty, very perverted. I get that. Not a freak elite. Not a freak elite. <laughs> Your last choice was a freak elite too. Yeah, you're right. you're right. And I get that. I get that. I get that. But the story, the he got plot, a freak elite on his shirt right now. He do. You right. It's a lot of freak elites. <laughs> so his, so his top five is really a freak elite list. <laughs> <laughs> because this party is a freak off. It is a freak off. I'm so, I'm sorry. You can you can you can you can beat that out. <laughs> but the plot elements in Mushoku Tensei, the way they kind of um dip you into the power system, explain it over time. The fantasy, the magic, the characters, the fact that it is a work of literary fiction. The way they go into these characters' story arcs and how they have their own motivations. I love Mushoku Tensei. It makes me get on um YouTube channels and watch people explain the light novel and what was missed. That's the only anime that got me to do that. I love Mushoku Tensei. Number one. Here we go. It's Hunter Hunter. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if that's a shocker. I, it's not a shocker for me. I was wondering where it was going to be on your list because when you got to number two, and I was like, damn, so where is Hunter Hunter? Uh-huh. I mean, Hunter I mean, Hunter. Loved it, but I didn't know how much, I guess. I guess it no, makes sense because you I, always, you know. Well, for me, when, like, when I was watching it, because when I was watching it, I when I watch anime that I know Ryan has already seen, we have a lot of discussions. And I'd be like, what the fuck be going on with this? And the discussions that we had about, like, Hunter Hunter <clears throat> and Fairy Tale were, like, very, like, detailed and, like, very intricate. And we we have intricate nice. conversations about Demon Slayer, too. But, like, those two, like, when I first got into it, it was very enjoyable for me to watch just because of how passionate Ryan was about the discussions and when I started experiencing certain pieces of the story elements. The Hunter Hunter is really an iceberg. When it comes to the Nin power system, it is the best. I don't care for the folks who can't keep up with it. I'm sorry. The Nin power system is 
beautiful. Togashi made a work of art with Hunter x Hunter, and he is one of the hardest working mangakas out there when you look at all the franchises he's created. I love Hunter x Hunter. When it comes down to the characters, Phantom Troop, they're not even my favorites. The Zoldic family is my favorite family of characters. They call I'm him. sorry. When it comes to Zeno and Silva, when we saw him against Crollo, yeah. When we mm-hmm. saw Zeno and um, I'm forgetting the old dude name when they went against Meryl. They showed up. Yeah, when they showed up and fought them ants. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm sorry. Epic moments, cool moments, rage moments. Ichigo's rage moments, rage moments against Ukiora is my favorite. But Gaul, one, when Gaul no. turned into TV static, I got that on my leg. I forgot that's, to say. Um, that's, that's on, on my, my leg. leg. Yeah, that Look, was a moment right there. I feel like people forget the scene of him against um what's the buff dude? What's the buff dude name with the smoke? Oh, with the with the sun, you talking about with the sunglasses? Yes. When he was like, Gon, show me that I can trust you to come out here. And you just see all the TV ads run through Gon's mind of seeing Kite die. And his eyes got dark. I got shivers down my back. At York New City, when they had the um hunt, the tournament, um the 104th tournament or whatever. And Gon and Hisoka started fighting at the end of that episode. Yo, they the cut the off. music. They cut the music. The- like, I had never been. Like, my eyes were glued to the TV. They cut the music. Mm. The music went off, bro. This is impact. All you heard was, was hands. Smack, 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 smack. smack, smack. Like, <laughs> like, bro, fighting scene, soundtrack. I love Hisoka as a character. I know. Put me on a stake. I get it. I get it. I'm on everybody's watching list for liking Hisoka as a character. I mean, I mean, you're not the only one. You're not alone. Not the only one. Like, I, like, I... Coming into the anime community, I have found a lot of people who like Hisoka. Hisoka. It's going to be a bunch of y'all up there on the stake, at least. Yeah. Y'all just hold you, you won't. You won't be alone. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be by myself, but I get why I'm on y'all's watch list. Mushoku Tensei already my number two, and Hisoka one of my favorite characters. I get it. I look at me sideways, but I love Hunter x Hunter, bro. I, I prayers for Togashi's health. I pray that he can finish Hunter x Hunter in the way that he wants. As a fan, I I wish he would let his wife, who wrote Sailor Moon, finish it off. But as just a lover of his art and a supporter of him, I get why he wants to finish drawing and writing it all himself, despite his health issues. But oh my gosh, even from right now, Hunter Hunter will forever be one of my favorite animes. It will always yeah. be my top three. That that jump was nice. That that I, I love Hunter nice. Hunter. Mm. Okay. All right, what you what you got for us, Antoine? Shake it up, Antoine. All right, all right, all right. So, for my number five, I had to put it up here because growing up, I just loved it. Despite how the fact you know, you don't know, (laughs) you you don't know, you don't know. It's actually it's Naruto. It's number five for me. Naruto is number five for me. I I loved OG Naruto growing up. Me and my brother used to sit around. We used to play the games. We used to love when it was coming out on the TV, the story, everything with the Akatsuki and all that. I fell in love with that. That was like, it wasn't my intro to anime because y'all know what my intro to anime was. But um, mm-hmm. it. <laughs> but I think as a follow up, like the very next one, I, I I loved it. I loved it. So I know it's like a lot of controversy on how it ended and all of that. And I was like, okay, that's cool, but. You can't you can't deny how iconic the uh, Akatsuki symbol is. Like Naruto, they have definitely made right. their impact. You're they, right. They've made so I was like, that you've earned your place. You've earned your place up here. So number four, Demon Slayer. I love Demon Slayer. Um, of course, the animation is good. The story is good. I think if it, a show that makes me want to go out and read the manga, you've really got my attention because I I lo- yeah. I like reading manga, but I don't. I also just like watching the anime, like when now action comes out. So I use for most shows, I can just wait. Demon Slayer, it was like I need to know. I need to know right Man, now. After Mugen Train came, out, I said, "Hold up, wait we a minute." We need to know. What? I need what? answers. Mugen and my had me ne- crying. Yeah, <laughs> I needed answers for that show, and they and I got them. So Demon Slayer is, is just good. From the manga to the anime as well, they've been they've been doing a very good job, and I hope they continue that as they finish it out. Uh number three. Attack on Titan. Hmm. Food kind of already explained it. I mean, it was it was beautiful. This is another one where I had to go read the manga. I started watching Attack on Titan like a long ass time ago, and way before we got to the point where they started releasing out more stuff, because I needed to know what was in that basement. I I 
I had to go read the manga. So I heard y'all got left on red. They got in the basement. They left y'all on red for like five years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh yeah. my god! So it was that was a mess. I, that's why I had to read the manga. I I I, I needed to know. But uh, Attack on Titan, it's the story is beautiful. It's different as well. Like who said we're not getting something else like that? Who who sat down and decided to come up with that? I mean, that was that like was very the unique. Lore. I that's think the unique. thing about it, the, the thing about Attack on Titan is it's the lore. Mm-hmm. Like I, oh my god! Mm-hmm. They did a great job with that. When they when they really start explaining like what the fuck was really going on, it's like oh, mm-hmm. like okay. My number two is One Piece. Okay, Look. I thought that was gonna be your then number I, one. Then I then I know what number two is. Then we know what number two is. <laughs> Not me mm-hmm. number one. I, <laughs> I thought well, One Piece was gonna be number one for you, but okay. I number two. Uh, one Piece. I. I don't. I think I just. It was one random day. I just, just decided to sit down and watch One Piece. I used to see it back on Toonami. You know, I. It was kind of like background noise for me. I never actually just sat down and pay attention to what they were doing. So one day, as I, as back in like college, I believe, I was like, okay, let me see what they actually talk about in this show. And I, I didn't want to watch it because I'm like, I don't want to watch a show about pirates. They what? That, that don't sound interesting. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't care. No, yeah. I'm like, I don't, <laughs> I'm like, I don't really care <laughs> nothing about that. Devil food powers. I'm like, this just doesn't sound interesting to me. But when I sat down and watched it, I was glued. I was hooked. I was in my feelings. It was good. It was good. They really caught me by surprise with that. So Had us crying definitely... over a boat. They, I'm telling you. I, I cried so much on One Piece. And when they was um putting the um, team together and all, all that, Robin's story, Nami's story. It was a lot. Mm-hmm. So... They earned their place up there for me. And number one, I already know, um, it's never it's never leaving. It's never leaving number one for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, we know. Leaving, we know. Leaving. It's never we leaving. know. <laughs> we know. I was looking at my statue. I was going to grab it earlier, and I was like, oh, it's number one. Okay. It's up there. I was waiting. Okay. I was waiting for it. We was waiting. Dragon Ball okay, Z was, Sh- 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 was definitely my intro to anime, and in the beginning, for me, it was it was just about fighting. That's all they cared about, and I enjoyed that. I just like, love to see the characters get stronger, fight, throw bows. I ain't care nothing about the storytelling. I ain't care nothing about that. To be honest, they were just they were just fighting, and they had me. And the fact that Dragon Ball Z is still going to this point on yeah. Friday, we just got a, another series, Dragon Ball Daima. It's mm-hmm. it was, before that we got Dragon Ball Super. It's still going. So. It's hard for them to leave my number one because they still they still dropping stuff. They still dropping games. They still dropping series. It's it's not going nowhere for me. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. I didn't. Hmm. Your top five does not surprise me. No, it don't surprise me. I'm not mad at it. I feel like yours. I, I thought One Piece was gonna be number one, but because of like that familiarity and that novelty, that love you have for Dragon Ball, I get it. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. get that too. It's hard. It's hard to beat that. It's hard. That's why like favorites lists are interesting because it's not about just the story and everything. It's just how the impact it, 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 it has on you too. Like like when yeah. you first, when you first watched it. So like when Antoine said Naruto was in his top five, I was like that makes sense because like if you was watching it from the jump, if you was watching it when it first aired, I get the sentiment. And kids was fighting. Like I get. <laughs> I like. I get the sentiment. Like mm-hmm. even though like it you had it's, it's one of those you had to be there. I mm-hmm. I went there. I binge watched it, so like I feel y'all. <laughs> but that's but that's the thing. That's the reason why Naruto ain't make my top ten because I felt disappointed as a fan. Like mm-hmm. I literally felt betrayed watching the like the war arc with Naruto, and I'm like, why is this nigga looking like a flashlight? Why we got Kaguya and these gods coming in here? I'm like, mm-hmm. where did this come from? Like mm-hmm. I love Naruto I, to this day, I, but I it was... hurt my feelings. I will mm. say when I got there, I was like, "Oh, aliens!" Yeah, but I but I definitely get like on Ryan's perspective. You were watching this like weekly, like episodically, and the next episode is "Oh, aliens!" And it was like we waited a week for y'all to tell us chakra comes from aliens. Like, bro, I like alongside Antoine, Dragon Ball GT was technically my introduction into like tsunami. Because ba- Dragon Ball Z was done airing by 96. Like, by 96 is when GT was airing, right, Antoine? Something, something like that. Like, yeah. And then Kai came out in, like, 2001 or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, like, GT was my introduction into Dragon Ball, and I went backwards. 
mm-hmm. like Naruto was like the anime that made me realize I'm watching anime. This is it's Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and Digimon, Bakugan mm-hmm. and all that, but this is anime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it just hurt me over time. It hurt me oh. as an adult, and I was like, I can't get over that. I feel that. Yeah. It's it's in, it's in my top ten, though. So you talking about mm-hmm. the Shona Bros coming after me? It's not even in this man's top ten. <laughs> oh. I always, I'm always happy to piss him off. <laughs> he, he, he didn't even make the he didn't even make the list. But I, I like I like Naruto though. Like anything that makes me that like my other list is like if I had the option to watch everything above Naruto or then watch Naruto, I will definitely watch everything above Naruto before I go back mm-hmm. and watch yeah. Naruto. But don't get it twisted, like I got an Ambu symbol on my arm. Like anything that pushes me to the point to get inked up on my skin. It has an impact. So yeah. Listen, listen. I'm finna pay for an Akoski scan for my um my chair, and I'm finna get the desktop. I still love the Uchiha. Akoski is still the best looking. That's swag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Akoski the best villain group. I swag alone. Yeah. Itachi is one of my top three favorite anime characters. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. They go- my thing about Antoine's top five, I was surprised that Demon Slayer was in there, but only because, only because, yeah. only because I know that you've watched more anime than mm-hmm. me, so I thought you would have had some other Something places just, in there. Yeah, yeah, I yeah I had other stuff like, it, but it's just I feel like if I had to go rewatch Demon, if I was given the option to watch that stuff versus like Demon Slayer, I'd probably pick Demon Slayer for, especially if like if, if I'm introducing to somebody to an anime. And I t- I'm probably going to tell them to go watch Demon Slayer. And I even want to watch it with them. So, Yeah, so looking at them. Making sure yeah. they still watch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you saw that? Rewind. Rewind. <laughs> so you're not even paying I, attention. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're going to edit it. And I'm and if I'm the one to edit it, I'm going to try to have like the pictures up to show everybody's top ten. But what are all of, what's in our shared list? Fairy tales in each of our list. Fairy tales, Hunter, 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 Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Full, full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, Full, full metal. metal Alchemist. Fire yeah. Force is in all three of our lists. Was that in I your list, Antoine? I didn't put Antoine Fire did, Force up there. Antoine didn't okay. put Fire Force. So you and me share is Fire Force, and I think that in Full Metal, well, just With all three. Me, yeah, just you and me, Ryan. I think we both just had Fire Force. Me I didn't Antoine, have Attack on Titan or JJK on the list. Yeah, and me and Antoine mm-hmm. had Attack on Titan, JJK, Demon Slayer, Slayer. and Naruto. Mm-hmm. Demon Slayer was in my top 10 for a long time, but when I sat down and made this list, I was like, what do I really just love, love? Like, yeah, love, it's really, love. it's really the animation. It's really the animation and the anticipation, and because I read the manga and the anticipation mm-hmm. of these last three movies. But I, I really mm-hmm. do enjoy Demon Slayer. But the reason why I put Full Metal above it is just the story elements of Full Metal, to me, are superior to what's going on in Demon Slayer. Mm-hmm. and that's that's kind of why i put fire force in my list because when i was thinking i was like for big three i'm not gonna have multiple big threes in my list and i'm not gonna have the new gens big three quote unquote so i was like when i'm looking at fire force my hero demon slayer and all that who's really fire me? force if i had fire to force. if i if you sat me down and was like would you rather watch fire force or my hero from the beginning i'm picking fire force I, yeah, I'm also would pick Fire Force. <laughs> I'm, picking, I'm, picking, I'm picking Fire Force, and, and just the appeal of Fire Force, like just the whole fire thing, like Ryan, like I 100 agree with Ryan. Like I attach myself to fire based characters. As far as Sailor yeah. Moon, Sailor Mars is my favorite Sailor Guardian. Why? That fire arrow. That's my girl. That's my girl. Like. So the whole anime just being fire based characters, and then the lore that ties into it, like first generation, second generation, third generation, and all that stuff, like it's fire, but the iceberg under it, yeah, it's deep. Mm-hmm. And like when when they start going to those darker themes with Joker and everybody, it's like it's mm-hmm. it's great. It's just a great anime. Yeah, I oh. I'm a rewatch it for sure. Y'all got any special recognitions that didn't make the list for specific reasons? Let's see. So, I think, and I and I don't question this now. I I I sat down and I was wondering if I wanted to put my hero anywhere on there, and I was like, no, I don't. I don't. No. I don't think I'm gonna ever sit down and watch this my season, hero again. 
This season I, has I been good. I don't think I'm going to rewatch it either. Me all. neither. This season has been good. No lie. Season six and season seven have been doing great. The ending is coming. They just announced that the ending of it is coming in 2025. I think when we get to the end of it, I'm going to be like, this had a great run. But, but, I'm def- but I, I, don't, I definitely don't think I would be starting from the beginning to experience my hero for the first time. Like, No, I would not. Yeah. Funny enough, I think I tried to rewatch My Hero. Like, I just did it for the hell of it. I was like, do I want to watch rewatch My Hero? And I watched the first episode and I got irritated. And I was like, what made me watch this back in the day? Like, I just didn't like hearing Deku. And I'm like, I like this anime a lot. But there's so much I just don't like that I can't put my fingers on it. I don't yeah. know why. I feel like we're invested now, so we have to finish it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it got so many good highs. There are so I got, yeah. fun- I got some Funkos. I got some favorites. It just... No. <laughs> Y'all watch the My Hero review when it drops. It's dropping soon. Yeah. Every everything else that's on my list are like ongoing, which is why there's only mm-hmm. a few ongoing. The only because the ongoing anime that did make it onto my list is because these really left like an impact when I was watching. Exactly. Like mm-hmm. JJK, like I wasn't a big fan of season one, but when I watched Zero. And then we got into season two. I was like, oh, okay, everybody strap in. Everybody strap in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think for a lot of these that are on my list that are still ongoing, I think I'm just waiting to see what they do next. Yeah. yeah. Like, I think Hell's pa- like, I think Hell's Paradise could jump into my top ten depending on how they do these next couple seasons. Uh, on my special recognitions that. list, Hell's Paradise is my number three. But the only reason it's not on my list because we ain't having enough seasons. And I can't forget. Right. But like, I know if they do happen. good, I'm gonna love it. Exactly, because I really, I really enjoyed the first season of Hell's Paradise. But it's just like I can't, I don't want to put it into my top ten like prematurely going off exactly like, this, one, this one season. Mm-hmm. Like at least exactly. the ones that I put on my list that are ongoing have a couple seasons to like back it up. Yeah, I think everyone from my list is yeah. Technically, all of these are complete. Sword Art Online is kind of weird, but yeah, all of these are complete for me in terms of manga, at least and light novels. The only one I think my t- top five are complete, unless you want to count a hundred years quest for fairy tale. But technically, that's like a spin-off. technically it's a spinoff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. everything in my top five is done. Yeah. For my special recognition, I had Attack on Titan and One Piece in there. Attack on Titan hit. I love it. It's just that I like fun anime, and fun anime is going to take a lot in my top ten, as y'all can see. Fun mm-hmm. anime yeah. is going to be up there. Mm-hmm. One piece falls into that category. I just couldn't have top three. I just couldn't have the big three all up in there. I couldn't do it. Free Run Beyond's Journey In is up in my special recognition. It's number one. I Give yeah, I, I, I consider that one. I consider that one Free Run. But yeah, I, mm-hmm. I, I also like, think I will want to see some more of that because the first season was nice though. I beautiful. Nice. And even um, though during the slow moments, it was like I'm I'm interested in this. Free Run could jump to my top three. Easily top five once these r- remaining seasons come out and we see how good it do because it appeals mm-hmm. to me for so many reasons like Mushoku Tensei. I want to see mm-hmm. what Kaiju number eight does next too. Kaiju number eight, I can that, see that. That could replace something on my on my bottom five. I could see depending on how they go forward with the next couple seasons. I had mm-hmm. wondering which the journey of Elaine. It's such a short series though, but I absolutely love it. It, I wanted it to put in my top 10, but I just couldn't. I just couldn't. I love it, but it's not long enough to be a top 10 anime. It's not long enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. On, like, like It was. It's a lot I, of stuff. Like, I was, yeah, I was, like, I was, really scrolling through the stuff that I watched. I was like, it's a, it's a lot of stuff, yeah. but I just, I just can't put them in there. I, just I looked at Sailor Moon Crystal, too, but I was like... Mm-mm. Like, it's... Mm. I like Sailor Moon Crystal, but OG, the feelings that I had watching OG Sailor Moon is top tier. Mm. Look, look, bro, I looked at funny anime like One Punch Man, Lock Horizon, which is a video game based anime. Foop, I want you to watch that at some point. I love Gangsta, No Game, No Life, The Fate, Zero, Parasite the Maxim, Blue Exorcist. I was like, they just can't be oh, in my yeah, top 10. I even forgot about that. Oh. Mm-hmm. I just couldn't. Tokyo Ghoul. I, I'm like, I love it. I just couldn't put it in my top 10. Yeah. Yeah. This was fun, though. This was fun to make yeah, this, this list. Yeah, this, this was, was, 
This was a challenge. <laughs> this was a challenge. This was a difficult episode. I was at work, like actually, like, hey, what's really going? I had I had pulled my notepad up and I had to start yeah. typing all the animes out. I like, to, all right, I had to list out everything that I've watched, and then I had to like be like, if somebody was to ask you, "What's your favorite anime?" What's the first thing that popped in your head? And I was like, okay, let's go from there. What's funny? That's the easiest one for me, though. I was like, it's Hunter Hunter and Mushoku Tensei. Easily. Top five, like, top five was easy. Bottom, yeah. the bot, it was the bottom half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because they're not necessarily bad animes, anime, but like putting them at the bottom doesn't mean like you're sorry or like yeah. you're garbage. It's yeah. just like if I had to ob- objectively speaking, if I had to make a bottom five, this is where you guys would go. Right. Like when I looked at Fairy Tale, I was like, I know Fairy Tale is in my list somewhere, but it can't be top five off GP. For me, at least. It couldn't be top five off GP, but I know it's going to be in my top 10. It, nobody's kicking Fairy Tale out. It's, it's top five for me. I am going, I do want to rewatch Fairy Tale. I really do. I really do <laughs> want to sit, I really do want to sit down and rewatch Fairy Tale. Like, but I just feel like that it's just so much, like, anime that's out, out that right I want to catch up on like I want to get in like I want to watch Bleach and um the Fate series so it's like as of 2024 this is where I'm at but like as more series come out and I start catching up on like previous series like this week could definitely change and that's the thing it's like I wonder how anime like I wonder how anime like a Yu Yu Hakusho would have hit me if I watched it when it was releasing. But mm-hmm. right now, I just hate the animation too much to really like sit through yeah. it. Like I yeah. really want a readaptation of it. But I want to give it its love because Togashi wrote Yu Yu Hakusho, so I'm like the Hunter Hunter creator. I'm like I gotta I gotta watch your art, but please get a readaptation of it, please at some point. Yeah. Well, there we have it, you guys. One more time, shout out to Dwayne for giving us the idea for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you guys want to see more anime content from us, make sure you hit that subscribe button alongside liking this video, liking this video and turning on those bell notifications. So with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and shut this down. So thanks, Ryan. Antoine for joining me on another episode of the Blurred Mob Podcast. Shout out to everybody who watched in or listened to this episode, whether this is your first time or 50th time checking us out. It is always appreciated. Let us know in the comments what your anime top 10 is and to stay caught up on what the mob has going on, make sure you follow us on our social media platforms. We're on Instagram at the Blurred Mob Pod. We're on Twitter at The Blurred Mob. And you can find us on Facebook and TikTok at The Blurred Mob Podcast. And this is The Mob checking out. Peace. And that little cool transformation where the half mask is on, I was like, okay, yeah. itch. Your I voice changed. Mm-hmm. I was like, it's getting edgy. Like the aliens versus the spirituality and they're saying like yeah. the ghost and the are them are like kind of the same thing or whatever. The bananas. I was like, the bananas.